Many Russian regions refuse to celebrate May the 9th because of Ukrainian drones. The Belgorod, Bryansk, Kursk, Ryazan and Peskov regions of the Russian Federation as well as Sevastopol in the temporarily occupied Crimea again refused festive parades and fireworks for May the 9th. The Russian edition MASH reported, It is assumed that the gatherings of weapons and troops in Russian cities can provoke attacks by Ukrainian UAVs. The traditional action, Immortal Regiment, was announced online. Komi, Chita, Transbaikal territory and the Nizhny Novgorod region also decided not to take risks and not to participate online. At the same time, as journalists note, many cities are still thinking whether to organize mass events on this day. Several Russian regions cancelled the Victory Day parade on May the 9th for the sake of the safety of citizens, says Svetlana Zurova, first deputy chairman of the State Duma Committee on International Affairs. Here, each subject is guided by the situation itself. The main thing is safety. Especially in the border regions, it is not necessary to provoke the other side to do something, bomb or launch missiles. They can also do it at people. They generally don't care. No one wants to take risks and people themselves will be in nervous apprehension. Therefore, I think people make the immortal regiment in a different mode. For example, they will post photos on balconies. There were different ideas on how to participate, the deputy said. In 2023, 23 cities from the regions bordering Ukraine, the Autonomous Republic of Crimea, abandoned the live celebration on May the 19th. The Tumen authorities also refused to hold events. At the same time, during the recent rehearsal of the parade on May the 9th in the Russian Yekaterinburg, the BM-14MM multiple rocket launcher system on the ZIL-131 vehicles, which is a specific rarity, lit up. Former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, if Ukraine loses, U.S. military will have to go to war with Putin. Former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence believes that American troops will have no choice but to fight Russian invaders in Europe if Vladimir Putin defeats Ukraine. He stated this at an event hosted by the German Marshall Fund of the United States, a think tank. Pence called on the U.S. Congress to approve additional funding for military aid to Ukraine. If Putin defeats Ukraine, I have no doubt in my mind the time would come that he would cross the border into Europe, that our men and women in uniform would have to fight, Pence said. According to him, the Americans will have to fight under Article 5 of the NATO Treaty, under which an attack on one member is an attack on all. And I think what the American people will witness here is nothing short of moral courage here. Speaker Mike Johnson has decided to do what he believes is right and trust the American people with the outcome in this moment. And I commend him for that, Pence said. Pence's comments come as the House fights over whether to advance a foreign aid package that would provide funding for Ukraine. House Speaker Mike Johnson, who has been facing significant pressure from GOP hardliners, has said he will stick with his plan to put the series of foreign aid bills on the floor. Pence also cautioned that a Russian victory would set into motion a domino effect 
that would embolden authoritarian regimes, suggesting that China would then move toward invading Taiwan. Now's a moment where the United States of America needs to square our shoulders. We need to recognize we are the leader of the free world. And we need to step into this moment, send a deafening message, not just to Russia and Vladimir Putin, Jake, but also renew our support to our cherished ally Israel, support Taiwan and also send a very clear message to the mullahs in Tehran and frankly to President Xi in Beijing that America is going to stand firm for freedom, he said.